Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start today's information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. You still see whatever you see as the exchange rate on the CBI website. You can go to the airport and it's still at 13 whatever. But you see the CBI articles tell you. Our official exchange rate is 1132. I'm going to believe the CBI. I'm going to say, yes sir, understood. I have always believed the dinar can rise in value significantly but it's not going to happen overnight. If the dinar is going to rise it will rise gradually as a result from the success and growth of Iraq's own economy, private sector investments and of course an increase in their GDP. In order for that to work Iraq needs to make the dinar their main currency in Iraq and implement their new securities law and they can begin to float the dinar. Now what we believe we have is ability to move forward, with our notifications on the 1st of September. However, it could be that we're notified. Friday, or Saturday, but it looks more like, Friday, with a start of exchanges to be on Saturday. Things can happen even over Labor Day weekend. At least that's what we're hearing that we can get started. The good news is, that we should be notified. Friday, after markets close. This thing is looking like we're finally reaching the end of what we've been waiting for. Article, Iraq rises to 49th in global economies ranking for 2023. Quote, Iraq has climbed to the 49th position in the list of the world's largest economies for the year 2023. A notable advancement from its 52nd rank in the previous year, as per a report by the International Monetary Fund IMF. Iraq has secured the fourth spot among Arab countries for the second consecutive year. This monetary reform is taking the IQD to places of international affairs that are no longer sanctioned. The IQD they say will be king as the USD steps back in the banking structure of Iraq and now in the whole Middle East. Then Alok caps this report by saying we are increasing out capital. What do you think that means? That means they are going to increase your currency count with new lower denomination notes, doesn't get any better than that. 